guys. Welcome back to Pouring from Coast to Coast. Since I am the last one up today, if you've been following our train this afternoon, you know that Chris Jezik came up with our challenge this time around, and it was a really cool one. Um, we had to use colors that corresponded with letters of our first and or last name, but we could only use four colors plus black or white. Um, it's been a while since I have done a cloud pour and swipe, and you guys know how much I love this technique. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today with these colors. I just got back from the Christmas holiday. As you can tell, I have a terrible cold. Uh, that I'm still dealing with and I know I sound terrible so I am going to be quiet for a little bit and uh, just let you guys watch the process. Guys, I'll have the recipes and the ratios in the description, but for this technique, it's really super simple. It is one part paint to three parts of Floetrol and one part of water, and that's it. Um, now, you may have to adjust it just a little bit, uh, depending on what kind of paint you use. If you use a thick body, paint um, versus more of a, a fluid paint like deco art americana in the jars they're a little bit more fluid um, so you may need to thin uh, you, you know your others down to match all of the consistencies um, but that's pretty much it you put your puddles down and when you start swiping always make sure to swipe the color over the white satin enamel. Um, don't do it the other way around or you're not gonna get those, those beautiful cells and pearls uh, and lacing that pops up after your swipe. Guys, be sure and watch everyone in this collaboration. Um, I know that Chris Jezik and Teneva Baker are participating this week. Uh, Maida is out until the first of the new year. And I'm not sure if Garrick was able to um, participate this week or not. But whoever participated, I will have their links in the description. Be sure and uh, go back and watch them, show them some love.
I didn't take my palette knife to this one uh, because I didn't want to mess up that division there in the center. Um, this whole piece kind of reminds me of like a psychedelic space storm and with all these colorful clouds. Um, but then right there in the middle, you have that division line uh, where it looks like the clouds have parted and you can see uh, the background of space there with the stars and the planets. Um, I didn't want to mess that up. I really liked the composition of this one. So no palette knife on this one. Uh, I'm really pleased with how the colors played together though. And uh, those pearls and those little cells and lacing, those never ever disappoint. Now, since that piece went so fast, I am gonna do um, another piece. And this is me uh, playing around with translucent pearl coat. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot with the pearl coat. I've, I've played with the translucent base coat, um, but I wanted to give this a try. And it was a lot of fun, holy moly. Um, but we're going with the same rules. I'm using colors um, based on the letters of my name. Um, I spray painted this canvas first with um, some copper and some white. And uh, those are actually colors that I'm using um, as well. And then there is my translucent pearl base. Um, and I will have the recipe for that in the description as well. Now, I did pull out my palette knife for this piece. Um, since we were only allowed to use four colors, I felt they needed to be blended just a little bit more. So if you'll notice, when I'm making 
um, those indentions, those ribbons, if, if you will. What I'm doing is I'm taking that palette knife down to the base coat um, and, and kind of cutting through the paint. And when you do that, it allows that pearl base coat to come up and kind of give a cloudy effect um, amidst the colored paints. So whereas, you know, before we had these uh, big areas of solid color, that blue and that red, um, allowing that pearl base to come up um, and kind of blend with the other colors, it gives you a really, really cool effect. Um, and sometimes they're, they're multicolored pearls, sometimes they are uh, just a cloudy effect. But either way, it's much more interesting than just having, uh, you know, two solid colors um, as your composition. If you'll look at these pearls, these all white pearls here at the bottom, remember that is a clear translucent base. So those pearls would end up just with the outline, um, which is exactly what they did. But I wanted some color um, in them. It just, it needed something to balance it out. So I filled some of those pearls with the copper um, that I used in the piece and it, it really did balance out the composition a lot better. There is a lot of interest in this piece um, for being as simple and minimalistic as it is. There is a lot in it that catches the eye and that is one thing that I absolutely love about it. As always, thank you so much for joining us today. We always appreciate your viewership. New Year's is coming up. Be safe, be careful, have fun, and I will see you in 2024.